You're watching 11 News at 5 with Greg Hurst, Lisa Peranda, Dr. Neil Frank with weather, and Gip Nielsen with sports. 11 News at 5. And we'll take you inside a state senator's Houston office and home. You'll never guess what we saw and where. Right now in Houston, there are several major exhibits of African art at museums and galleries. Well, one local state senator doesn't have to travel too far to experience that slice of culture from a faraway continent. In today's special, special assignment 11, 11 News anchor Jerome Gray takes a look at this politician's passion for African art. One of a kind pieces of art that you would expect to find in a gallery, but it's not. This is Senator Rodney Ellis's Houston office. At home, two of the Ellis children play a game on a piece of African art. South African, black South Africans. And their dad plays tour guide. But when you back up and you look at it, then you see the faces and you see the shacks. And a house showered with paintings, religious artifacts. And this is Ethiopian cross. And sculptures. This piece over here. This lamp, this is ebony wood. And this is telling someone's family story. There's even a chess set representing the old and new guard in South Africa. As you walk through the senator's house, it's clear that he loves African art. And even when you walk into the laundry room, guess what? You'll find more art. It's like visiting a museum that feels like home. It's a challenge. And I grew up, my father collected uh, African art. And so some of the pieces we have here in the home are actually from my father's uh, collection. It's challenging. Because, she says, the art is always changing thanks to her husband's frequent trips to Africa. More than three dozen visits. Well, it started out as just uh, something by accident. First piece of African art that I got was from my mentor, Mickey Leland. Since then, Ellis has studied the art and savors the stories behind the pieces. It's a, the Ashanti tradition of picking a new tribal leader. So for me being in politics, you know, it's just sort of per perfect and it's one of the first major pieces that I bought. The Ellis's take pride in their art collection. Well, I think it gives one a, an appreciation uh, for the culture of Africa. You know, it gives me a connection uh, with my ancestors. And the lessons for their children. It's so important, especially these days, for them to have a true appreciation for who they are. As young African Americans understanding where they came from. They treasure what they're passing on to the next generation and the next person who comes to visit. Jerome Gray, Special Assignment 11. Some of the museums and galleries currently featuring African art exhibits include the Museum of Fine Arts, the Menil Collection, Texas Southern University's Art Museum, and the University of Houston's Blaffer Gallery.